Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com. I'm going to talk about um, how to use audiovisual aids in teaching. Um, this is such a good um, question, a good uh, way to think about teaching, incorporating lots of audio and visual materials. Um, and a lot of times you think of things like films when, uh, when this subject comes up, but almost anything that provides um, something visual or something audio, uh, an auditory experience for students can be considered an audiovisual aid. Um, thinking about all the multiple learning styles of students, this is a really um, excellent strategy because um, bringing in other uh, modes uh, can really help meet the needs of students who don't have the same learning style um, as the, the norm. Um, some of the materials you might think about are films. Um, for example, if you're teaching a Shakespeare play, um, being able to watch it as opposed to just reading it can really help students to understand it, bring a new um, perspective to it. Um, there's simulations online, for example, for um, a dissection. You can use a simulation to allow your students to have an experience that might not have been possible in the regular classroom. Um, Another example is just an artifact. Um, when you're learning about history, seeing some of the materials, um, for example, colonial um, hardware or colonial, uh, you know, things that were part of everyday life for um, 18th century families can be really eye-opening, can really bring a new um, perspective on that subject as opposed to just reading about it. Uh, recorded oral history can be another great way to... Um, introduce, make it come to life, make the, a time period or a location that you're learning about more lively. Um, and this is a very low-tech way to bring some audiovisual aids into the classroom. Even guest speakers can be considered an audiovisual aid. They're people that will make something much more lively and more interesting and even be able to answer questions. So um, think about different ways that you can bring um, audiovisual aids into your classroom and that will really help support students in learning.